Ruger LC9. Man, I've been seeing these all over YouTube for the past couple months. And I've been out of the game for a little while doing some other things, so I haven't really had a chance to uh, get any, purchase any new handguns. And it's starting to get hot over here where I'm from, and I'm not talking about regular hot, we're talking about 110, 115. So I've been carrying the Ruger SP-101 as my primary um, EDC everyday carry. But uh, even for the summertime, you know, I like to wear a lot of just uh, basketball shorts and flip-flops, you know, and t-shirts. I like to keep it light just because it gets so hot. So I was looking for, um, you know, all these well, the new compact 9mm that's been coming out. And of course, I'm always looking for a budget, you know, budget version, looking for the best price. So, you know, after doing a lot of research and just looking online, going to the range and trying a few out, I decided to go with the Ruger LC9. And it was also just meant to be, I happened to be in Cabela's and um, they had one left, you know, and it was the, the actual the sample one, the one that they keep out for everybody to mess with. But I didn't really care, so I just went ahead and uh, purchased it. Took it right to the range afterward and, um, man, loved every shot. It, it was just, it was really nice to shoot. I did pick up an extra magazine just because... You know, with seven rounds, um, it's always good to have another magazine for a semi-automatic. Even when I was carrying the Ruger revolver, I would carry uh, a couple speed loaders with me, at least two or three at a time. So I got these. I got them filled with the Hornady um, hollow tips. But um, I don't mind the manual safety. I don't mind the safety check first because it is loaded. I don't mind the magazine disconnect, even though I might do some modifications. The only thing I really do mind about this is this loaded chamber indicator. I mean, really, that's just... I don't have any snap caps, but man, that's, that's really just... over-exaggerated. So I might do a little work on that and just mill down that lip a little bit. Not sure. Um, you know the primary use for this, or, or what they say, POU, philosophy of use? It's just that every time I walk out my door, I will have a handgun on me. No matter what I have on, uh, no matter the heat, um, you know, if I'm in a rush, I'll take this along, grab this with my wallet and my phone, and I'll be out the door. You know, slip it in your pocket. And that's the reason why I um, purchased this uh, Ruger. Um, you know, the and on top of the uh, loaded chamber indicator, which is really not, it's more of just a look thing. I like my guns looking a certain way, but... The really aggravating thing that I found out about this was the uh, firing pin channel. To you know, I called Ruger up and to to get in there, you have to take the sight off. Um, you know, she was talking so fast, I didn't really even get all the information. But I know you have to pop this sight off, and there's something else in it you have to pop off to take the firing pin out. So that means anytime you're going to clean that channel, you know, you're going to have to zero them in and resight them. Um, you know, with this gun, you're probably not going to shoot it that much. I usually clean the channel, the firing pin channel, at least, you know, every 500 rounds. But with a gun like this, I would do it 200 rounds. Uh, put a hundred and, um, about 110 rounds through it so far. And that was at one range visit. And no problems. Very easy to shoot. This used to be my main CCW gun, which is the Glock 23. This is Gen 4 here. Look at the difference. That used to be my main carry, somewhere or not, compared to this. Let's take a look at them. You know, a big difference. So unlike a lot of the other guns, you know, all my guns I completely take down at least once down to the bare bones to see all the parts. And if you look at the exploded view of this, you'll see that it's, it's a small gun, but it's extremely uh, complicated. A lot of small pieces. Maybe one day I'll give it a try and see if I could um, take it apart. <laughs>
final thoughts. It's a great little gun. Um, worth every penny. And once I start to put some more rounds through it, I'll do a follow-up video. But like I said, no issues so far. Alright guys, later.